Hey there, beautiful people, and welcome to another episode of That's How We Roll, a podcast where I talk with motivating and inspiring women who are professionals, entrepreneurs, organization leaders, artists, role models, mentors, and so much more. I recently had the opportunity to meet and interview on site Diana Bashara, restaurateur and co-founder of Cantina Royal Hot Sauce at the New York Now Winter Show. This is Cantina Royal's first time at the show, and their journey from a restaurant to online hot sauce sales is a spicy tale. Cantina Royal Hot Sauce was born in Brooklyn, New York, and has been featured on Hot Ones, the number one most popular YouTube show with combined viewing of over 100 million people. Cantina Royal Hot Sauce is a proudly woman-owned, minority-owned, and made-in-New-York-City brand. So take a moment and listen to my interview with Diana Bashara, and then go online and order you some hot sauce. You know you want some. Hi guys, I'm here with one of the co-owners of Katina Royal Hot Sauce. Diana, I had to stop by. We're gonna talk about this hot sauce because I love hot sauce. Hi, I'm Diana Bashara. I am the co-founder of Cantina Royal Hot Sauce. We are made right here in Brooklyn, New York. So we're local to the NYC area. We actually started out as a pretty popular restaurant and bar in Williamsburg. Oh, wow. A Mexican spot of the same name. We were there for 10 years and uh, we were making hot sauces the whole time and kind of got like a little culty underground following for it. And we started bottling it, um, not related to COVID at all, but then COVID happened and it was kind of a natural a transition. Nice, a nice segue. Yeah into wow. another sector of the food world. Well, there's like one, two, three, four, five different ones. Mm -hmm. um, what's your favorite? Uh, that's like asking uh, what uh, your favorite child uh, no. is. <laughs> it's like you have one, but you can't say it. No, just kidding, no. I. Uh, they're all really distinct flavor profiles, so it really does depend what I'm eating. But one that I find myself going to over and over again. It's on the hotter side of things and it's actually one of our best sellers. This is our Tomasa. It's a dark, smoky, really savory, umami flavored hot sauce. Yeah. Oh, I and think this is going to be my yeah. favorite. And it's a little different than a typical American hot sauce. We, we actually do um, hot sauces with Mexican chili peppers and ingredients. And in Mexico, like a salsa picante is like any sauce that's spicy. But in America, hot sauce usually means like your classic, like tangy vinegar-based hot sauce. This is actually an oil-based hot sauce. We are a top eight allergen-free company. So there's no soy products, Ooh. dairy, nuts, etc. in any of our line. But it does have that kind of soy-esque flavor profile with the umami, but what it comes from in this case is from fire roasted chili peppers and ingredients. Nice. So it gives this like lovely smoky vegetable umami and it's great on any and all protein. And I just, I go to town with that one. Obviously everything here is good with Mexican food, but it's great on all different types of cuisine. Like this one I mix into my pasta sauce, all sorts of things. Really? Yeah. I think that I'm going to try the tamala pica. Yeah. This seems like it's really good. So I think this might be my favorite. <laughs> That's oh, another wow. bestseller. We got featured while we had the restaurant still open on this very popular YouTube show called Hot Ones, where the celebrities, lots of actors go on it, musicians, things like that, uh, get interviewed while they're eating increasingly hotter sauces. And it's kind of a viral show. So it, it popped us like right onto the scene really quick before we even really knew what was wow. happening. And this. This one, the one that you were talking about, which has like a tropical tamarind barbecue-ish vibe to it because it's sweet and smoky, um, is the one that did it. So this is one of our wow. best sellers. Yeah. So tell us again about the ingredients. So our whole line is all natural, which means it's preservative free. Uh, we're also non-GMO, we're vegan, and we're top eight allergen free as well. So oh, we're trying great. to be as accessible as possible uh, and then hot sauces are naturally gluten-free, so check that box too. <laughs>
You know, we're from Brooklyn. I we know. cover all of Brooklyn Brooklyn in the house. Yes. <laughs> okay, but well, Diana, thank you so much for Absolutely. talking with me today. So nice to meet you. And if you, you don't know, now, now you know. You know. <laughs> Thank you, Diana, for being a motivation and an inspiration to people that want to start a business. I've listed all the details for you to get your very own Cantina Royal hot sauce. I've listed them in the show notes, so please go online to CantinaRoyalHotSauce.com. You can order your hot sauce on Instagram, too, Cantina Royal Hot Sauce, and get some hot sauce. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen, checking out the podcast. Thank you for inviting me into your space. And until next time, I hope you will continue to thrive, grow, and be kind to yourselves and be kind to others.